Mount St. Helens is the best monitored volcano in the Cascades and one of the best in the world. This is new tonight at 11. Mount St. Helens has been more active than usual. Since mid-July, more than 400 earthquakes have been recorded from the volcano. That's compared to an average of 11 per month since the last eruption cycle ended in 2008. The largest of these earthquakes was a 2.4, but most have been less than magnitude 1 and deep within the mountain. The U.S. Geological Survey says it's all part of the natural ebb and flow of the volcano as it slowly recharges for its next eruption, which they expect to be years, even decades away. We're not seeing any sign of any kind of swelling or ground cracking. And so that also is a, an indicator that what's happening down below is fairly low key and is kind of part of a, 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 a regular process of the volcano slowly moving towards a point where then it will be ready to erupt. And when we get to the point where it's a short term rather than years to decades and more like weeks, we will know. There will be very clear signs. It will be very different from what's happening right now. In 1980, 57 people died when Mount St. Helens erupted. The most recent eruption took place from 2004 to 2008.